Hello, this is Jeff from Studio 41 Gaming, and we're finally back with the next Smite video, and this time we're taking a look at Hell. Now, for the God Builder we got here, um, let's take a look here. We start with Shoes of Focus. Um, it should also be mentioned that Hell is a bit of a dual type God. She can do damage, but also is a healer. So, you may see some items that might not be uh, usual for a mage or may look a bit different. But first off, we start with Shoes of Focus. Basically, it's just magical power, mana, cooldown reduction, movement speed, basically. Just uh, get that mainly for cooldown reduction. And next, we've got Book of Thoth. This is. You really want this because of Hell's mana. We, when we max out her mana without even taking into effect the 75 stacks that you get from Book of Thoth, um, it, we're already maxed out at 2365, so it goes up by even more then. And next, we've got Rod of Asclepius, I think, as I pronounce it. Basically, this gives magical power, health, movement, speed, and also helps with the healing a ton. This item is very good for Hell's uh, healing spec. Next, we've got Breastplate of Valor. Uh, this gives you some physical protection, also gives you even more mana, and also gives you a lot of cooldown reduction. This is a really nice item for letting you uh, get to your abilities faster for if you have to heal a bunch or if you want to try and kill someone really quick. Next, we've got Gem of Isolation, Magical Power, Health, and once again, Mana. And then, enemies hit by your damaging abilities move 25% slower for 2 seconds. So this is a really nice CC item for uh, Hell, mainly for her uh, area of attack, uh, area, AOE ability, god. Um, that's a really nice one for her, though. And last, we've got the Rod. Uh, if you can get to it, um, it will definitely let you do a lot more damage, but it is kind of hard to get to. Some of these items here are a bit expensive, and Hell doesn't exactly rack up the kills. So, farm a lot of minions, and you might just get it every once in a while. But if you do get it, it's really nice. And then, of course, we've got Purification and Sanctuary for our Relics. And then... For Hell's abilities, her passive is Stance Attunement. Uh, basically, when she's in a stance, she gradually attunes to that stance. And you'll do 20% more damage when you're in the Dark Stance. And uh, bonus 20% healing once you're in maxed out in the Light Stance. And for her abilities, the first one here, we have Decay and Restoration. Uh, when you're in Dark Stance, it fires a ball that does damage and also does a little bit of AoE around it. And then when you're in your Heal spec, you fire a projectile that just heals yourself. Next, we've got Hinder and Cleanse. Hinder, you debuff enemies at the target, reducing magical protection and slowing them. And then when you're in Light Stance, um, they basically just cleanse all allies of CC and gives them a little bit of CC immunity. Uh, I will tell you now, this is a very nice one for if you want to nuke someone that's at a slightly lower health because they take a lot more damage from you. So if you want to try and kill someone, lay this bad boy down and then hit them with your one of your damaging abilities. Then next we've got Repulse and Inspire. When you're in the dark stance, Repulse. Just, that's the AoE attack I was just talking about that just damages enemies around you. And then the Light Stance, uh, it's just basically, that's your heal. It's an AoE heal, and it also gives your allies some movement speed. And then when your ult is just switching stances. Uh, you just, basically you'll do more damage, and this is how you just go back and forth between damage and uh, healing spec. And then this God Builder we've got here. Um, basically, you want to try and get Repulse up early. Uh, 
will repulse and inspire. It's without a doubt Hell's best abilities. Uh, you'll, this is how you're going to more than likely be getting any kills, and it's also your heal, so definitely go for that early. Go for your uh, your switching stances, God, um, whenever you can, obviously. And then Decay, basically go for that next. And late game, Hinder and Cleanse. Those are definitely, that's definitely your least important ability. Because it just, it debuffs, but, I mean, the debuff is pretty nice. Even at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, even at 5, it, I feel it does a decent bit, so. It's definitely focus that one later. But now let's took it, take a look at some gameplay for Hell now and really figure out how to play her because she is a bit tricky. So basically with Hell, you've got to really realize your limitations and what your role is. With Hell, you are not going to go out and drop 15 to 20 kills. She does not work like that. Uh, you're basically going to be swapping back and forth between your damage spec and your heal spec and just doing whatever needs to be done. If your allies are a little bit low on health, um, you can just switch to heal spec and heal them real quick. Or you can, if you're on the attack, you can just swap into your damage spec and start laying down your debuff and uh, hit, trying to hit some people with some abilities. But early game I've seen uh, with this build, Hell actually does do a decent bit of damage. If you're going after a mage, she can really lay some lower the boom if you can get that debuff on the on your target. Uh, her damage can be, I think, it can take some people by surprise, because if you're like why I killed the soul in this game, <laughs> I think she was just looking at me, just like, oh, a hey, okay, this is Hell, I got this. All of a sudden, wham! She eats 600 points of damage and freaking uh, dies real quick. But definitely, definitely try and um, heal. Don't play. But at the same time, you don't want to go all in on healing because then you're ba you're basically Aphrodite at that point. And unlike Aphrodite, you do have damage dealing capabilities. Yeah, you can't make someone immune, but you can definitely do a decent bit of damage with Hell. So trying to find that balance right in the middle between healer and uh, full-on DPS is really what you want to try and go for. Even in this game, I actually managed to do 24,000 points of damage. Granted, we ended up with like 40 kills, but that's, that's pretty good for Hell. That's really going to be top of the line for the most part. Then I had like 18k healing points, uh, so that's that's really good. That's really what you want to shoot for, I think, with healing is upper teens. And if you can get to 20, then good on you. <laughs> but it's really trying to find a rhythm between swapping specs just with the uh, flow of a fight. Luckily, this fight, or this game, I should say, we <laughs> it might as well have been one big fight for the most part, but... I was able to find a good rhythm between, okay, I'll heal for a little bit, I'll heal for a little bit, okay, we're on the attack, Chalk just ulted, I'll swap into damage and start going on the attack. You're really just trying to find the rhythm of the fight and uh, just r really try and figure out what you should be doing at that point in time. Luckily, I played against the Bacchus, so I was able to really show off uh, Hell's uh, cleansing, so I was able to cleanse a bunch of CCs. Uh, so, <laughs> that actually, I think, really helped us with dominating this game, and that is something you really should try and do, is if you're playing against a Bacchus or a Kumba Kana, uh, if you're, if he gets a big, um, CC off, like with it, Kumba Kana's sleep or Bacchus's ult, try and lay down the CC immunity as soon as that goes off and get as many people out of it as you can. It's just the little things like that that Hell really excels at. But that's pretty much all I've got for you. Um, Hell's def definitely a bit tricky. Uh, she can be a bit of a, she's a bit of a glass, not so much cannon. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't have that much defense, so that's one thing you got to be careful of. But 
It's just really trying to find the rhythm of the game and figuring figuring out what you should be doing at any given point in time. Just make sure to build those stacks up with Book of Thoth also, and you'll have a humongous mana pool to draw from late game so you won't have to go back to base and you can just stay out and heal uh, your team as much as you can. But thanks for watching, and the next Smite video we'll be back with, we'll be taking a look at Apollo. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is Jeff here. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to watch the bottom left video, a video that is related to what you did just watch, or the random video. It will take you to a random video that we have uploaded at some point in our existence. It could be anything. It could be another Smite video, or it could be one of our insane live streams or something. Just be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.